Hey everyone, welcome to Front of the Apps, I'm Menti, and this is episode 30 of the Tank Tussle Season 3 Tournament. This episode, we've got the MLRS Overrain by Van Har going up against the Papa and the Roaches by Prometheus. Let's go ahead and get the camera in position, and we'll see how this battle goes. I, ho I hope uh, the Roaches brought top armor. Oof. John getting shredded by that rainstorm. Oh, the tactical stop. A lot of those shells just missed because of that. Overrains are pretty vulnerable during their reload cycle. And the enemy are close enough that uh, the hill is getting in the way. Never mind. Apparently it wasn't enough in the way. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor Paul. Or is that John? Or Ringo? I'm not even sure. Whatever the case, it is disabled. It's not Ringo. Oh, yep. Ringo and Paul dead <laughs> ouch that leaves George over here John in the back over there and all the over -rains. I don't believe so I don't believe they're color coded What color starts with J? <laughs> wow. George here doing a really good job of evading those shells. Jango line? Is that an actual color? Beetle coated. <laughs> John just getting absolutely shredded, but still alive. Is George firing flak? Oh no. <laughs> you might knock off their wheels. <laughs> the rest of them's heavy armor. have a hard time evading the shells at this this uh, range oh I just noticed John is dead George is the only one left But now it's gotten to the point where it's uh, it's frags are not terribly potent. The overrains.
But yeah, the overrains are pretty durable as long as you don't break these blocks down here. If you break the, if you break the, that spine, we've seen what happens. <laughs> This is the the second the second group Hammertons. George just losing all kinds of stuff. What's going on there? You have decorations there or something? Ah, Jade. Jade and Jet, I knew. Basically, you know, jet black. Ooh, that was an explosion. Poor George. A mild gray. Eh, close enough. Gray's basically a shade of black. Cat is zooming like crazy. Can you guys hear him running around and meowing? cat man over rain had better finish off George here pretty quick they're like out of materials if they become unable to fight and George is able to still fight they're gonna throw this match oh there goes some shells shells out George at 45.5%. Oh, and there we go. That was, uh, that was a little too close on the whole materials front. <laughs> Cannibalize. Hi, Brisby. <laughs> I don't even have to read the name to know that one was you. They have not, core unit. If uh, Over Rain wins this match, though, Heavy Rain and Over Rain will be facing each other in their next match. Oh, oh, wow. All those shells, all those frags missing of the most potent shots that the Overrain has. 
John doing some tactical reversing there. <laughs> Good job, Allo. Good job. Has this Overeem lost guns or something? Oh, no, there they go. Uh oh. Oh, and Ringo's dead. And Paulo, Paul follows shortly after. <laughs> uh. George getting some blocks ripped out of the rear of it there. Are those? Hold on. Oh, okay, that's reinforced wood. I, I thought those were material containers for a second there, but I was like, is there a four meter beam material storage container? I don't think there is. So I was really confused, but it's just reinforced wood. <laughs> Oh, now they're all focusing on John. Which is honestly probably smart. John can probably do more damage than George can. See, like that. That hit right there. A couple more hits in that area. And those overrains will not be happy. Dang, Ikea. Ooh, John might be done. Yep, John is done. Time to turn on George. Well, this is the second round, Rymark. And yeah, the first round went pretty much the same. that the heavy rains don't go for George to start with. I mean, good for the heavy rains because they seem to struggle to hit it. Do you imagine if, it, if all of these were like the first volley wasting all that damage? That'd be brutal. Over rain. Yeah, not heavy rain. Oh, and that's the round. All right. Go ahead and get round three restarted.
ton just getting ripped apart by all that shrapnel. Off to the exhibition bracket. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Ooh, I actually scored a hit there. Let's see, can Ringo survive its first uh, first volley, you know, the first time it's shot at? Nope, no it can't. Ringo is dead. Paul is alive, but disabled. <laughs> That's my mom to let you leave without an umbrella. <laughs> John getting hit pretty hard again. It's not going to be able to take many more of those. Oh, and Paul's gone. <laughs> I imagine it's a uh, combination of a turret with a uh, a spin block locked to. Well, no, it does change it. It changes its elevation, so I don't know. I'm gonna say a spin block locked to a certain elevation, and then you just set the required accuracy before firing to be pretty high. Oh, and John is dead. I wasn't aware breadboards could even control, like, turret aiming. Well, these rounds were pretty consistent in how they played out for this battle. Ooh. George taking a pretty big hit there been immobilized now so that rain is just gonna 
fall wherever it pleases. And George is dead. <laughs> so, yeah. That means the score is 92.8 to 0, so... Papa and the Roaches have been eliminated. And the MLRS over rain will be going on to face heavy rain uh, the next time they fight. So that'll be interesting to see. That'll probably be next week at some point. But uh, for now... Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.